Oh, see fishies. Right. Underneath us. I saw them definitely. Saw them. Yeah. You seen anything? I saw some fishies. Fish, yeah. Yeah. They were like kind of bluish color. We're going back. Yep. We're going back. Oh, missed him. Come on, fishy. Yeah, I got that one. Get in there and check him out. He's not going to hurt you. 
They have to say it now, Joe. Gacy, Gacy, Gacy. Sorry. I'm going to get closer. Don't go closer. I'm really glad we got to see one. So what's their natural food source then? The fish, birds? Uh, mostly, mostly small fish and birds. Don't go too close. So how come the does it not eat turtles then? No, no, they're right. too crunchy. Yeah. And also turn me, turn me. Anything that doesn't, that doesn't fit in their mouth. Got you. Uh, so, so like a turtle or a, anything else along those lines? You video me? Yeah. Anything bigger than a small fish, you can cut it. Yeah. You guys are floating another, over uh, another TV set. Yeah, it's just hooking it, I see it. Yeah. Right there in the... For a TV show called Sea Hunt. Uh, which was a, uh, it was a show about good guys chasing bad guys on the boat. And uh, the good guys uh, caught these bad guys after they crashed the boat and they were like, okay, good set, we'll bring that tomorrow. And then uh, they, the three fell one overnight. So now it's a turtle hatch. Huh. So is that one not a very old gator? Is that one not a very old yeah, gator? Yeah. It's only about three. That one's in the Yeah. You're making that up, aren't you? No, seen from the birds scrapping over a bit of meat out of the steak and shake bin. I don't know what birds they are. I'm not messing with them. Hmm. Look at them scrapping over the meat. Hello everybody. Hello evening we should say. Uh, concentrate on the road please Mr. Taylor. We are... The lights, use the left two sorry. to turn onto World Centre Drive. It's Dave having his little input there. Anyway, we are on our way to watch a rodeo. Proper rodeo. Proper not, rodeo. Not a Disney, not a Disney rodeo. No. Not a Western, well it is a Western but um, we are going to the Florida Cattlemen Association Ranch Rodeo Finals. Uh, it was ten pound, uh, ten pound, ten dollars a ticket. Uh, it's part of uh, some kind of cowboy festival uh, that's on yesterday and today, I think. Which would be the twenty third hmm. and twenty fourth of September. Yes. Anyway, we're going to watch the finals tonight. <laughs> Although we don't have hmm. cowboy. Hats. We don't have cowboy hats. Mr. Taylor's very poor times. We do not have cowboy hats, nor do we have cowboy boots, nor do we have a flannel shirt. Nor a shirt with tassels, nor are we wearing jeans. No. Um, so we'll see. We're expecting it to be um, quite authentic, authentically American, as opposed to Disney American. Disney American. Um, it's at the Silver Spurs Arena in Kissimmee, which I know does host regular rodeos. This was something we wanted to do and um, just happened to be the only rodeo that was on in the time. Um, and is looks like it should be fun. So uh, come with us and we'll trek on and uh, you can see what you think. See some cattle wrangling and... Um, Know what else to do really? Lassoing. Lassoing. Barrel yeah. racing maybe. Hopefully dragging a few people behind a cow or something. I know, I'm used to seeing the child show jumping so this is going to be completely different. Might see some uh, cattle show jumping. Yeah, which is always fun. We have cattle show jumping at home, don't we? We, we have do. a cow that jumps our fence and don't let anybody tell you that cows can't jump because they no. can. If it could jump a tiny bit <coughs> or higher, it would jump over the moon. Ah, that's nice. Anyway. We'll speak soon. <laughs> We're in the arena. We sat down. I'm 
definitely not a tourist thing. I love it. It's awesome. Definitely not a tourist thing, this one. Um, I don't know what to say. It's awesome. It's just, it's proper, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's not a tourist, as in it's not put on for tourists. You're obviously in with locals and real Americans. Um, dead friendly, no one's, uh, no problem at all, is there? Walked in, tickets checked, came off, uh, and now we're just sat in. Uh, we've had a quick walk around the stalls. The stalls are awesome, as in um, non-professional, bits here, bits there. Uh, we just feel so comfortable. Definitely not Disney prices on the food. Oh no. Four dollars for a hot dog. Six dollars for a beer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. and by the way, already uh, they paraded some uh, cracker cattle. And that's not being negative, that's what they're called. Yeah, and basically uh, they're all for sale. Uh, you take a photograph of your favourite one that you want to buy, take it down to them and you can buy it. That's awesome. How much would it cost to ship home? <laughs> well, if it's in bits, like it would be, not much. No. I'll, I'll turn the video around and get a picture of, picture of the cows in case anybody at home would like to purchase a cow. <laughs> Chased by one when she was little. She didn't like cows. To be fair, I don't look at all the noise. Yeah. Time. So uh, we're gonna get some food in a bit. Yeah. Uh, maybe some merch later on. Yeah. There are cowboy hats on Mr. Table to buy. There's awesome t-shirts as well. There's awesome t-shirts. Uh, just to add, we're probably the only ones without a cowboy hat. And a big belt and buckle. <laughs> <laughs> and we're only one of three so far wearing shorts. Yeah, I'm a bit underdressed. But yeah. Should have jeans on. Yeah. And boots. And boots. Oh well. Oh well. John Green Shaw. A new channel representing the Hardy Jack Gentleman Grand Rodeo. In the hot pink shorts, Kate Elmar, representing the Smith Family Cattle Drive. Representing the Florida State Fair McGee, in the white shorts, from Anchor. Representing the Florida State Fair Rancho Yoke, in gray shorts, in Heartland Large Animal Services. Heartland Large Animal Services team member, Jonathan. It's Hartman Large Animal Services in the Great Charge, representing the Florida State Fair Ring. 2022 FCA sweetheart, Michelle Sumner. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would ask that you please rise and remove cover. Three, out of shoot number one, this guy is good when I call it. It's just for being Aubrey Lee comes out. He's already rode a bronze longer than Buckley would have ever rode it. Oh, Horse turns back. Aubrey's got a good hold. Loses a little bit of range. He'll grab on the arena and drop down, put your hands together. Look out, Kenny Rainey, Rainey Cattle, bring that five out fast, we got to swing them in. Dolph gets the rope on the ground, they go. Rainey Cattle, Kenny Rainey, Dolph Edwards, Keith Walker, Andy Morgan, and Amanda Scarborough. They get to the camp, they got to get them down on the ground. They'll signal for Amanda, she's got to go cross country, all the way across the arena. Put the brand on, and then hustle all the way back to Fritz Brewer in the circle. She's getting her calisthenic workout tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Rainy Cattle. We'll have their score. We'll get ready for our first team DC bench to go to 
Looked like we was in the 11th Street still. Look out, Coleman Davis. Climbs off the crane, gets on the pretty gray horse and puts the loop on one right away. He'll wait for Hunter. Quick show it off for the ladies. Come get behind him and just throw a heel loose. And that loose off. Line that gentleman up for Gary football. The linebacker tackle. Lee and Fox. I tell you what, buzz is up. The gates are open. And we're on our way in the second heat. Question mark is losing the Drop anchor. Randy Cattle working to get one saddle. Harlan's got one round and old. He knows Gus can ride that son of a gun. He's going to take him the long trip. Across the line, Gus goes. TC Cattle trying to get one mounted up. Randy Cattle mounted. Across the line goes TC Cattle. Oh, Randy picked the bucket. He's trying to say, oh, he gets that saddle reset. The funk's so rubber. Right about now. The funk's so rubber. Check it out now. The funk's so rubber. That's all those things. And across the line, Randy Cattle goes. Ladies and gentlemen, and he leads back to the lovely Randy Kissing. Got to hang the shoe off. We get all the kids on the line. <laughs> and they crack the gate. Miller ran to the far end, they got to the head. ABC ran, hanging on for dear life. These defense got to get that tail up to get the milk. Glenn Woods ran, got old on, held up, they're pulling the ladder. Trying to get a little milk. DC comes back. Blackwood Grant. ABC coming. Oh, did you thank James? Oh. Different. Different. On there. It was actually, it was alright, but like lots of things when there's like lots of teams and you're watching the same event over and over again. Just get a bit boring, don't it? Yeah. I'm not sure if we can use this because the music's so loud. Yeah. Um, no, I'm glad it came. It's really, it's really good to see. You know, it's a proper proper rodeo, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but like I say, when, when you see one and then two, three, four cattle being uh, wrapped up, it's like, oh, I've seen it now. And then when there's 13 teams or whatever, it's like, oh, bloody hell. But it's good. I enjoyed it. I'm glad we came. I'm not sure how I feel on him. Welfare front. Well, you all got up in the scene, okay? I eat meat, so you know, that's how they do cattle in this country. Yeah, they didn't actually slaughter any cows, they didn't or slaughter any cows yeah. But, yeah. 